All right, guys, I'm here at my local Walmart. Now, I have heard rumors that they do have the ATTE uh, on the shelf in there. So we're gonna go in and take a look and hopefully we can find it. All right, guys, we got our logo out here. Uh, local Walmart. Um, seeing some city sets. Guys. No. Dude, they actually have it. I can't believe this. This is crazy, guys. I mean, this is like the first time it's been found in like a U.S. store. This is nuts. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Ely Brick Force video, and today is a great day, guys. We do have, as you can see, the ATTE here uh, right in front of us, all built up. Uh, we did just get back from Walmart, as you guys saw earlier. Uh, yeah, it's been a great day, and I'm super excited to get into this review, guys. So I think the first thing... Uh, that we should go over is probably the most disappointing part of the set just get that out of the way um obviously i'm talking about the mini figures here as you can see we do have three of the exact same figures i just don't really understand why they would do that i mean i wish there would be some variety maybe some different color clones perhaps maybe a couple more 501st clones i think that would really just um, bring the set to another level probably make it a 10 out of 10 for me honestly and uh that brings me to this guy i mean like it's just a waste of a minifigure, honestly. Like, I don't know. I don't even know who that guy is. I never saw him in the movie. What I really wish they would have done is included that, uh, that yellow clone pilot from the gunship. Uh, so he could have, like, piloted the ATTE. And, yeah, he's, he's a really hard figure to get, uh, being exclusive to the gunship at a $350, uh, almost $400 now price point. So, yeah, it would have been really nice to see another one of those guys uh, at a cheaper price. And that brings me to the last figure here, guys. Uh, last, definitely least... Uh, Captain Cody here. I just really wish we would have just honestly not even included him and got a Captain Rex instead. Barely even in the movie. I don't really like him that much. He's kind of weird. And uh, to top it all off, guys, as you can see, his face there is like it's it's a different print than what um what all the other clones have. As you can see, it's it's different, which doesn't really make sense to me because they are clones. So you would think they'd all have the same exact face because they're the same person pretty much. So these battle droids, we, we've all seen them. We all know them and love them. They're all, um, they are the same as we usually get, but they do have the gunmetal gray um, blasters, which are always, always a good time to get. And now probably guys, the highlight of this set for me is this spider droid here. Really, honestly, probably the hardest build. And I just love all the details of it, the red eyes and the cannon and all his uh, movable legs. It's just very good. And I love this guy in the movie uh, when the clones are fighting him. Honestly, I was rooting for the spider droid the whole time. Yeah, it's just a stunner. Uh, takes the cake for me. Hey, guys, who can forget the most iconic scene in probably all of Star Wars, honestly, from the spider droid here? When uh, in episode three, when he says, guys, I'm a spider droid. I'm, I'm going to get you. Better watch out. That's just a super iconic line. Probably one of my favorite lines in uh, all of the movies. Moving on to the last part of the set, guys. Here we have the side build, uh, the ATTE Walker. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's kind of lackluster. Uh, as you guys might have seen, though, I just did uh, utilize my favorite feature of this set uh, being this this carrying handle here. As you can see, you can pick it up super easy. Uh, it's Weight is pretty evenly distributed, so it's pretty easy to balance there. Uh, yeah, but the reason I do like this uh, so much is because, like, it's just super convenient. Like, you can take this thing anywhere with you. Like... Let's say I'm going to the bank to make a deposit. Like, pick it up. Just, just take it right with me. Maybe even throw my, uh, throw my cash in there as a little storage place. Uh, just take it with me to the bank and set it up on the counter. You know, it's just a super, super nice feature to have. And guys, as with every set, I do have a couple, um, just minor gripes with it. Uh, for example, like the cannon could have been a little longer, like maybe even like out to here or so. I wish the legs were a little shorter, honestly. It's a little tall. Uh, the color for one, like it's gray is kind of bland. It's kind of like we've seen gray sets all the time in uh, Lego Star Wars. I wish maybe like some blue or some orange thrown in there would have been nice. The pilot seat can't even fit the spider droid, so I don't know what's up with that. The interior space is kind of lacking. I wish there was more. Yeah, the paneling, it's just... There's some studs showing and uh so yeah i don't really yeah I, I wish it didn't look like a lego set just as i said just a couple little minor things but yeah you know as i said before guys the spider droid does not fit in the pilot seat but i did find a mod where you can actually turn this into a spider droid carrier so as you can see in the back um it does open up quite nicely uh, with some nice interior space so just gotta open those panels just kind of place him right there and he fits pretty snug honestly you can't even really tell that he's there like it's pretty cool like the spider droid obviously my favorite character in all of star wars to go along with this pretty all right build but yeah just spider droid carrier he's just tucked snug right in there can't honestly seamless but yeah so probably my favorite part of this set 
This brings us to the end of our video. Honestly, I think LEGO really knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, this is a easy 10 out of 10 set for me. Um, pretty much perfect in every way with all the minifigure selection and uh, yeah, the build is really cool. And this spider droid, obviously, one of my favorite parts. Uh, yeah, guys, it's just a really good set. Honestly, I would pick one up uh, if you find the opportunity to. Uh, maybe two of them, that'd be really cool. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Sleep tight, Bricksters.